Russia has lost 1,710 soldiers killed and wounded, 64 armored combat vehicles and an air defense system over the past day. General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine reported this. The Ukrainian military destroyed 24 tanks. During the past day, 197 combat encounters between Ukrainian forces and Russian occupying troops were recorded along the front lines. Ukrainian military personnel steadfastly repelled attacks in various directions, according to the press service of the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. The enemy actively utilized various weapons, launching three missile strikes, firing six rockets, conducting 78 airstrikes, and dropping 135 guided aerial bombs. At the same time, the occupiers carried out over 4,000 artillery shellings, including 136 from multiple launch rocket systems, and used 1,424 kamikaze drones. The most intense airstrikes targeted the Kharkiv, Donetsk, and Zaporizhia directions. Particularly in areas around settlements such as Kharkiv, Vovchansk, Siversk, Toritsk, Selidov, and Mala Takmachka. In the Kharkiv direction, for enemy attacks in the Vovchansk area ended in failure. In the Kupiansk direction, the occupiers suffered defeat in 12 encounters, while in the Lyman direction, Ukrainian forces halted 20 enemy attacks. Defenders continue to hold their positions on other sections of the front, including the Kramatorsk, Pokrovsk, and Kurakov directions. The enemy repeatedly attempted to breach Ukrainian defensive lines, but all efforts were repelled. Specifically, in the Pokrovsk direction, Ukrainian defenders stopped 46 attacks, and in the Kurakov direction, they thwarted 59 breakthrough attempts. The situation in the Volyn and Polisha directions remained stable, with no signs of enemy offensive preparations. Meanwhile, in the Kursk direction, Russian forces continue to carry out airstrikes. North Korea Special Operations Forces, known as SOF, have been sent to Russia to fight for war in Ukraine, Telegraph has reported. A video that appeared on Friday showed North Korean troops arriving at Russian bases in the country's far east Vladivostok region, picking up military equipment in long queues. The personnel reportedly sent to Vladivostok are presumed to have been sourced from the 200,000 strong ranks of the SOF. Being one of the most secretive units of its kind in the world, SOF appear loyal and highly trained but lack in advanced military equipment. It's primarily used to probe and test South Korean defenses. South Korea's spy agency, the NIS, said on Friday that North Korean troops are training in Russian bases in Vladivostok, Ashuriysk, Khabarovsk, and Vlagovshensk. Some 1,500 special forces were transferred to the port city of Vladivostok, with further deployments expected in the near future, the agency has reported. Ukraine has also warned of North Korean soldiers' deployment to war in Ukraine. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said with reference to intelligence information on October 18 that 10,000 troops from North Korea are being prepared to join Russian forces fighting against his country. The Ukrainian leader warned that a third nation wading into the hostilities would turn the conflict into a world war. Earlier, head of the main directorate of defense intelligence of Ukraine Kirill Budinov said that around 11,000 North Korean infantrymen were currently undergoing training in eastern Russia before heading to fight in Ukraine. They will be ready by November 1, the intelligence chief said.